you don't want to do that, then that's fine. We'll go for a 3 3 play. But again, there's going to be more rotating around. There's going to be more fucking nothing. More just garbage. <clears throat> Can he change the replay? He always can, but I thought he said he wanted. So, giveaway of possession, you're really great start to the game. Let's just give the opponents a free ball. Why not? You're so nice, man. Oh, let's give him a free ball. Hey, great, man. Now, if this guy controls the ball and actually does something with it, he can probably score on your whole team. And that's really nice of you. You could do that again. <clears throat> Ball's already going to the corner. This is a great rotation. I was scared he was going to hit it. It's not your ball, you fucking cuck. Why do you rotate so well, but then still push out here? You go behind this guy, he pushes out. It's not that hard, you understand it, so don't do this then. It's good that you don't jump up, but so you don't have to push out there. Please do a second replay analysis after this. I don't have time. I have to pre-jump this shit, man. You can fake jump it. I mean, I guess pre-jumping is fine. There's a guy behind you. That's fine. Don't use 75 million boosts for this, please. Useless. Either work on getting a pass or don't hit it forward. Get it hit le left, to, like to the left, to middle. Get it hit here. Don't hit it forward towards net. Otherwise, take your time. I'd rather have you take your time than fucking hit this forward. Because, oh, wow. You make this guy go up. Oh, my God. Your teammate is speedy. Oh, my God. What a beat. Oh, my God. Now you force your last man to go up. If he goes up and scores this, it's fine. If he, you know, then you rely on that. If he misses or if he gets a bad touch, he's the last man. You know, they can maybe counter. Right? And this play is started with you being the cuck and starting this if he missed this ball then i would blame you as well yes of course he misses the ball and it's his fault for missing the ball and going for it but i would blame you as well because you start the whole play without you the whole shit wouldn't have started all right try to grab boost nice good touch don't go no it's wait on the fucking wall like think about it why why do you go for this hit here aspect well you go for it because you don't know if someone is challenging you right from the right side right maybe someone could maybe be here right all right, well, we're gonna play your your situation. Well, let's say someone is a 420, by the way. Um, let's say someone is here on the wall, right? He's gonna challenge you like this, right? Oh, he beats you. Okay, where is this ball going? Oh, it goes like this. Oh, you have two fucking teammates here. We're gonna get, get a free ball, right? Is that bad? No, that's literally good. If you go up for this and no one is here, you hit it away, right? I'm glad you don't flip it away because you can maybe try, try and still go, right? But, um... You're probably still gonna hit it away, and if you don't, then at least you've jumped off, and you're gonna commit to either a 50 or you're gonna try and come down, but it's gonna be easy for them to challenge. So, sit on the wall, if someone is here and he beats you, let him beat your teammates are behind you. If no one is here, sit here and you have a free ball. Don't jump off, because either you're gonna try and beat this guy who's on the wall, but there's gonna be another guy back, so you're gonna pass it to the last man on their team, or you're just gonna give away possession and nothing is gonna happen, right? So you jump off here, try to come down, no one is challenging you, so that's great, but you're so fucking dumb that you still keep going. Oh, no one is going, let me use more boost, let me hit it again, oh my god, no one is still going, let me play into the corner, yeah. Let me fucking rotate like this the whole time, oh, I'm, I look cool, I did some arrow, oh my god, hey, great, tornado, no one fucking cares, homie. It's cool that you can spin, but you gave away ball possession, you fucking useless cuck. Think about what you do, you're just fucking flying. Free ball, don't hit it. What is the point of this? You're just gonna hit it away and that's that's it. Either get a touch you can follow up through the sidewall, or maybe a pass. But again, if you pass, you rely on the fucker to fucking hit the angle. And even if he hits the angle, this guy can rotate back and he'll be here. He hits the angle, oh my god, I still get a save. So you have to think about what's the most efficient way. Most efficient way of doing shit would probably be not jumping up here, waiting a little bit, dodging a bump. Or getting a touch to the side while you land here again so you can go again, right? You're probably gonna pass because, oh my god, I'm a team player. Shut your bitch ass up. If the pass is useless, what's that gonna do? Wow, great pass. What a what a team player. Oh my god, I would love to have you on the team. Oh my god, we pass it to him. Oh my god, nothing happens. Great. I know passing is great, but knowing when passes are valuable is even better, you know. Oh, pushed up to far. Oh, let me still go. I mean, it's a great area, but you know, it's gonna go down. You're not gonna reach. If Mofuck is gonna go up, why would you push up more? If he's gonna get a hit towards you, be as far back as you can to make the hit easier for you. And if he doesn't get a hit, we push up after he doesn't get a hit. After we see that he doesn't get a hit. Don't just push up now. Oh, he's up. Oh, I have to go back. Oh, oh, I'm a little bit pushed up to far. Just wait here. Let him get a hit. If he doesn't get a hit, we push up. As easy as that. You can hit flip resets. I'm re really proud of you. Wow, you can hit flip resets, but no one fucking cares because you push up at wrong times. Oh, there we go. Flip reset. Great. You know, the play would have been easier for yourself if you just didn't push up that far. It's still a great, you know, attempt at, you know, hitting a flip reset here. And it's still great mechanics, but it doesn't fucking matter because you cucked yourself. 
That's a really good play from them. Really good touch there. Try and bring this ball back with you. I know it's hard. I'm not blaming you if you don't do this because your first priority is to not get scored on. But if you can, then get a slow touch into this shit. Grab the boost B here and take time. So then the ball is still yours. If you want to be a better player, stop crying and stop being like, eh, that's hard. Wanna break through, wanna go pro, then do this fucking shit. Get value. Work on getting better. You can work on getting flipper sets and work on fucking taking time. That's all it is. Stop just mindlessly saving it. Save it with intention of keeping it. Lucky that your teammate can go, but your teammate just flips away because he doesn't have a brain. So you went for this. That's interesting. Let's go back. <clears throat> Aspect, I appreciate you. Make sure you don't listen to people in chat if they fucking are toxic and shit. So we're in net, right? There's one guy going in front of us. There should be another guy going in from their rotation like this. Um, so we can push up, right? Because there's a guy rotating like this and you should probably go behind us. Uh, listen to the should. Right? A should means there is an assumption that something is going to happen, but it's not confirmed and it's not reliable, right? So you don't push out when the fucker should be behind you, right? Look at the fucker. What is he doing? Oh, he's cutting? Okay, I stay back. It's that easy. It's just using your fucking eyes. You need to work on it. Yes, he should be behind you, but it's just it's a millisecond difference. Look at the fucker. Is he cutting? I stay back. If, if he's going behind me, I go. That's all. Real, you know, work so that you're fucking... You know, how does it use your fucking eyes, please? <clears throat> nice. He grabbed the pad. Let's still flip there, even though I don't get any boost in the boost pad. Big boost is also so. Let's flip here. Oh my god, I'm useless. I have zero boost. At least you grab a pad there. Your teammate is there. You don't have to go. <clears throat> Great. We can just watch. Free money for me, bro. Free money. Um. Send it in ones or twos replay if you want to work on your actual shit because now we're just watching your teammates and opponents doing shit, right? I could help you more if you send in the ones or twos replay because it's more efficient, right? Listen. Right. <clears throat> if you win this 50, what is gonna happen? You win this 50, it goes like this. Oh my god, this guy was rotating. He's gonna just go like this and get a free ball, right? If you lose this 50, what is gonna happen? The ball's gonna go like this. Oh my god, free ball for your teammate. If you're smart enough and have a fucking brain, you would push up into this and just leave. Or push up into this and stay here. When it goes behind you, you leave. Or when you can take it, then you take it, right? Um... 50 in this when there's people gonna be behind the guy that you're challenging if you win the 50 they will get a ball if, you, if there's a guy behind you he will get a free ball if you lose the 50 so you wouldn't even go for a 50 if you were smart but you just let the opponent hit it behind you and be in a position where either you can take or rotate it back behind your teammate so if your teammate goes and he gets beaten you're behind your teammate challenges are fucking 2015 rocket league it's not about challenging this see that's the first thing fucking neanderthals can come up with because you see ball you hit ball Think about getting possession. Getting possession doesn't mean we have to challenge. It means we have to find a way where we get the ball in front of us. If we can do that by just letting our opponents hit it towards their teammates, then that's great. We don't have to challenge it, right? Now you challenge it, we lose it in a way the opponents can follow up. Challenges in 50s are unreliable. They can pinch anywhere. They're no, you're not really in control of them. So just no, don't go for a 50 and let the fucking go for... The, the, let the shit go behind, behind you. You can go behind your teammate here. I know he goes all the way for back boost. But you can still go behind him. And otherwise, if you want to cut it, it's fine to cut it, right? I would still go behind him. But if, if you see he's, they're going to shoot and he's not going to be back, then you cut it. But cut it opposite side of the play. Don't rotate like this and I cut it here. What is the point of being here? If they shoot it on target now, who's saving this? No one, because you're cutting front post and he's all the way back. Useless rotation from you. Yeah, hey, you know you have to cut. Great, cut. But don't cut front post. You're turning too close to the ball. Turn opposite side. Turn here. Notice no one is there. Okay, we turn into the ball. We have a free ball now. Don't just turn like this. You see, you're, you have to like readjust here because you're making a turn to early. You're turning like a dummy. Think about your turns. Don't just turn because you think you have to turn. Look at the ball. See where the ball is and turn into the ball. What the, what the fuck is this desperate shit? He's right there. He's gonna beat you to the ball. He's in front of you. What the fuck is the point of jumping up for the shit if in, in one second this guy is gonna hit it? What's the point of this? What is the... Come on, man. This is why I hate threes. People turn into a desperate fucking dog. Oh, let's hit it away. Oh my god, great pass to the point. Oh my god, let's more and more of these fucking shit turns in the air. Let me use 100 boosts. Hey, great, let me turn in the air. Oh, pass it to... Oh, dunk. Wow, what a dunk, bro. Great. Oh, nothing happens. You score. <clears throat> Do you realize, though? 
You aren't really in control. There's a, there's mistakes on your on your opponent's fucking side. Why does this guy go off of the backboard? The ball is on the backboard, yet he's gonna pinch it. Stay on the backboard, and you have a free ball. Oh, we have a free ball. We clear, and they have ball possession. You started this play. Yeah, now you score, and that's great, right? But do you realize you're not in control of it? This guy, if he clears it, he's on the backboard. He has a free ball, and now this could be a 2v1 on you. Or, you know, this guy can turn, and now they're gonna cuck you. Because this guy's all the fuck up, right? He's pushed up. This guy gets a hit, he's gonna, you know, grab this boost, go around, this guy can turn there, and then they have a 2v1 on you. They might even get a free goal, right? The guy could bump you, this and that. That's all I'm saying. Um, you hit the ball away, yes, you get a dunk. Again, your opponents make the perfect mistakes in order for your play to work. And that's what happens, and that's why your play works. The fact that you get a goal doesn't mean it's a great play. It just means it worked out that time, but think about the other times where the, the, the mistakes wouldn't be perfectly going in your favor. That's all. I want you to be in control of your game so when you lose, you won't be feeling like you're unlucky. I want you to actually, ha you know, feel like you're in control of the game so that either you win and you're doing good, so good shit, or you can't lose because you know what the fuck you're doing, right? <clears throat> eh, yeah, that's a bad rotation back. You have plenty of boost, homie. Plenty of fucking boost. Take this boost pad and stop here. You know, maybe grab this boost and then just wait here. <clears throat> We're going so far back, it's really unnecessary. Uh, pushing up way too far. He's gonna get one touch, right? He's gonna get another touch now, right? Wait here, let him get a touch, and fake challenge when he gets a touch now. What's the point of being here when he's gonna get a touch? And you've now, you haven't even fake challenged. You, I swear to God, you haven't even fake challenged. You're literally doing nothing. He was gonna get this touch regardless of your fucking ugly ass positioning. So wait here, let him get a touch, and now we fake challenge when there is actually a fucking opportunity to do something. You don't just push up when he's getting touches. He's getting touches. Let him get touches. Wait in a position where he's gonna get touches into you so you can make it look like you go and then leave so he's behind you so your team gets a free ball. What if he didn't though? Then you push up after he doesn't. You don't just, but he would. But if he doesn't, then we, we, you know, wait here. He doesn't get a touch, he's waiting. Okay, push up now then, when he doesn't get a touch. Don't push up when he could get a touch. Let him get the touch and then, you know, go after he gets a touch. Or if he doesn't get a touch, go after he doesn't get a touch. What's the point of doing this? You've outplayed yourself and you're useless. Look at that. Look at that. Look at, look at, look at you. Look at you. Useless, useless. Oh, yes, the ball went over me. Let's go back. Might, might as well, you know, listen, you know, I have a tip for you. That's, that's gonna help you out. Be here, right? Just click options, go all the way down, click abandon match. It's the same result. It's the same thing. It's just might as well abandon match. If this pass was made, it'll boost back. Well, not you, not your teammate, you know, they're just gonna score. Think about what the fuck you do. Go play once. Please play once. You can't do, 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 do this challenge in once. Would that be good? Would that challenge in once be good? No, this ball would instantly go over your head and you'd get punished. You can't do this in one, so you can't do this in threes either, right? You can't just go behind. This is the same play as where we have the shit back here. The opponent's in front of you. He's going to hit it over you, so you don't just go behind the ball and play in, you know, in the past. He's going to pinch this middle, so we cover middle. You're relying on this guy to now beat this guy, and this guy is in front of that guy. So if this guy was more here, he would have beaten your teammate. You can't just push up into the corner and go under the ball and behind the ball when he's going to pinch it middle. Oh, it pinches middle. Where is this guy? If he was here, look at this. Who's, who's defending? Who's defending you? Oh, never mind. I went for booze. You lucky fucking cuck. Everything worked out for you again. Now you look like your player. That's fine. Oh, I'm still rotating. I'm still driving. Oh my god. I I'm doing great. Yo, my teammate, my teammates think I'm cool. Oh my god. I spin in the air like this. Oh my god. I'm such a mechanical player. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, look at my rotation, bro. I'm cool. I mean, you fucking suck, but no one sees it. Everyone is blind. You make a lot of mistakes. And I hope you notice know so you can fix it, right? I, I don't want to say you're bad. That's mean of me. But, I'm doing that to point out your shit. That's the point. Oh, maybe he passed my teammate. True, but do you realize if he just never went up or got a touch that you could follow up, it's, it's better. You're more in control. More fucking now, if this guy gets a perfect pass to you or your teammate, that's fine. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, give away possession. Now, if this fucking guy had a brain, he wouldn't hit it away either. Because what is that? That's a really nice touch from this guy. Really good adjustment, really good pass, really good no, no forward going momentum. Now, if this guy had a fucking brain, he wouldn't hit it either. But if he gets a good pass, that's fine. They'll get a decent pass. So now, if this guy gets a decent pass, that's fine. These guys are doing something with the ball. Do you realize they're actually doing something with the ball? And do you realize you're giving them, th them this chance by hitting the ball away? What the fuck is this? Oh, I do more spinnies in the air. Oh, oh, great. Motherfucker, go to fucking rumble if you want to do that. 
stop pushing up he's about to get a hit now after this bounce if he doesn't get a hit after this bounce push up after this bounce when he doesn't get a hit because this guy's also you don't have to be that far up wait here if he gets a boomer we're, we're in a position where we're more back than being pushed up so far so the hit is gonna be easier for us and we're fine please play a match i'm gonna fucking ban you you little fucking cuck stop talking I'm timing you out. I'm not banning you. It's just 10 minutes, bro. You'll be fine. Come back in 10 minutes. Say you love me and I forgive you. Um, listen. Trust me, as iron lungs, my man do be knowing. Teammate is there. What is it? You've already committed to being on the ground, whereas you could still go on the You still have, might need to go on the backboard. Let's say this guy gets another touch. I know he doesn't in this play, but let's say he does get another touch over to the teammate. Who's back? Who's backward? Oh no, you've committed to going on the ground. What is your position on the ground? Nothing. If this ball goes over your opponent, are you reaching backward? No, you're not. You're gonna attempt the double time backward read. You might hit it. Great. If you do, great. But why would you put yourself in a, in a difficult position? Your teammate is up for this, and if he misses it, you need to cover everything like above him stop going so fast here and if this guy reaches again be in a position where you could still go on the backboard right Blakes, you need to breath, you need to breath. Down, you i'm fine bro i need breathing oh we saw you go up for an airplay again really great man oh oh so speedy let's go dog hey great speed let's go man boost still let's go bump no no let's turn bro let's go speedy fucking ball chaser cook Useless. Why would you go for this? Well, it's like someone could be up for this. Well, fuck, you see everyone driving away. Second thing. That's the first thing. Everything is elite. Everyone is leaving. It's your free ball. Where Angus is Grand Champ. This is a free ball. You can see it. If you don't have eyes and come up to me and like, Oh my god, Flaky Chan, I'm blind. You yeah, fuck okay. For a blind guy. You know, if someone goes up for this, your opponent goes up, goes up for this, right? Let's say he goes up for this, he gets a shot now. Is, is this that threatening? No. Just wait back and you'll be fine. If no one goes up for it, we can go when no one goes up for it. If someone goes up for it, then just wait and he's going to give you a free ball. Right? If he tries to take his time, then try and, you know, challenge him when he gets threatening. But just wait. Um, what you could do is when the ball is this high up in the air, because of course we don't just want to wait under the ball because that's dumb as well, because the opponents then will know we're just waiting. So what we could do is, you know, fake jump jump and the ball is gonna come down and then we have a free ball so at least this guy won't get a free turn because look he's already leaving before you hit the ball because you jump up the motherfucker when you jump up the motherfucker is gonna leave so jump up so the motherfucker is gonna leave so you can take your time and then you have time then you try and create a play right um nice hit nice boost grab nice fucking ugly ass fucking rotation bro if you grab the boost you rotate away it's not that hard we've seen you do it so do it consistently don't just fucking turn, your teammates are there. No one likes you. No one likes a player like you on their team. What is that touch doing? What's that do? You rely on them to miss the ball to do something. You can bring it back all the way with you to mid boost or back boost or both. So you would have both, both boost and ball and you give your teammates time to come back. Or you would try and get a touch away from the defender so that would you know be somewhere around here and then you try and go again the problem is if you do that you hit it up here you try and go again you will still give away possession in the end it's just delayed giveaway of possession if you are smart and you know you don't have time to turn around two days ago you fucking cuck i love you though meow meow thank you for the tier one man for eight months uh, it was two days ago but i love you um they got a shot because of the ball chase yeah because everything worked out in his favor um Listen, so what you would do if you were smart is bring it all the way back with your grab boost and you would still have ball. Yes, you would be getting pressured, but you'd be in control of the ball. And if you're comfortable, which you should be as a grand champ player, if not, go play once. You should give your teammates time to come back and you won't be fucking desperate. You won't be trying to do some bullshit, right? <clears throat> Alright, they hit the ball away though, so you, your team gets a free ball. Your team hits the ball away, which means you're all garbage. You all hit the ball away for no reason. You go for boost, which is fine. I don't really mind. This is Grand Champ. RLCS is the same gameplay as this, I swear to God. <sighs> we push up. Let's say he flicks from here, right? Let's say he flicks you, right? Or right, listen, no, let's let's go even more basic. Why are you challenging here? We challenge here to make the pros would say to make the opponent do something or to put pressure on the opponent to not give him a lot of time, right? Great. 
then do that. But you don't have to challenge. Why? Because if we win the challenge, oh, we win the challenge. Oh, oh, it goes to this guy. Oh, oh never mind. I use boost got out of position. They have free ball. Now this guy's a field. Maybe a passing play. Maybe a triple passing play. Could happen, right? All right. Um, that's unfortunate. If we lose the challenge, which would be great, we make the opponent do something. The ball goes behind us. Oh, where the fuck is he? I don't know, he's there. This is not a great position. But he's, yeah, he's having momentum towards the net. So if you make him flip, your teammate should get a free ball, right? Stop donating, bro. Have you desired to start a rap career? I, I'm not a rapper, bro. My, 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 my raps are whack. I tried to rap there, but freestyling is hard. I'm not a rapper, bro. I can talk fast. So people think I can talk fast. I don't even talk that fast, but I'm not a rapper, bro. Um, <clears throat> um, listen, thank you for the one bug, though. Appreciate it, though. Lil Flaky, that's whack. You're whack bro um if you let the fucker flick over your head and just rotate around so you would go turn left now if you, like there is no possibility of you getting faked you go away like this you, he let's say he doesn't flick fine then this fucker goes and you're behind him so he goes and if he gets flicked you're behind him if, if they if the fucker doesn't do anything then your team can just be there and just try and take ball possession somehow but if you challenge and if you win the challenge, it's a giveaway of possession. If he flicks you or outplays you, you leave your team in a 2v1. Don't fucking commit. Uh. Your teammate wins the challenge. Now they should get ball possession, which they do. They give it back to you, which is a shit from them. But do you realize this challenge from your teammate is also garbage because, they, you know, you win the challenge. Oh, this is what you wanted, right? Oh, we win the challenge. Oh, they get ball possession. Oh, now if this guy had a fucking brain and either passed it or hit it down or hit it up so you could go again as opposed to getting forward going momentum because if you hit the ball forward, you can't, you're trapping yourself into giving away ball possession. He can't keep it up and now you have a ball. Let's see if you take time. Nope, let's just hit it away. Poggers, man. Um, take time. Mofaka is going to try to dunk it, right? What I would do is push up here, right? Push up slower so that you're going to make it look like you hit the ball after the bounce and after the bounce, we just never hit it. So we'd push up until the ball bounces right about here. After the bounce, you just sit here. Don't do anything. Maybe maybe a single jump because this guy's blocking. If he if you sit here and he hits it over you, it's a goal. So maybe single jump. So you block at least a little bit higher on the net. Uh, but don't jump. You know, no, you do jump, but don't flip. You know, don't hit it away. Right. Take your time. They're, they'll listen. Do you realize they're both fucking committing shit? <sighs> Who's back if they both commit for this? Again, make it look like we're gonna boom it after the bounce. So we push up now until the ball is gonna bounce right about here. And then we just don't hit it. Maybe single jump again to block a shot. They both commit. Look at that. One guy is gonna land somewhere around there. One guy's gonna land there. 2v1. Your team is already bumping the guy. Free free goal, probably. But you don't think of it because you're dumb. Like, you can keep. Oh, great challenge. What is that gonna do? Oh, we win the challenge. It's gonna be giveaway of possession to the other guy who's gonna rotate in a second. Oh my god. Oh, we win the challenge. It goes there and there. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's gonna have a free ball. Oh my god. This camera work's gonna make me spill. I'm sorry, man. It's hard. Uh, can you please grab some pads? Can you please rotate opposite side of the play? One, two, three. If this guy goes for boost, then you cut. If he doesn't go for boost, you go behind him. What's the point of being here with zero boost? You're useless. Stop going for this shit. Can you stop grabbing boosts that people are grabbing? You're playing in the fucking past. Adapt to the fucking shit. Nothing is there. Come on, homie, man. We see that the fucker is grabbing pads in front of us, fine. Then fucking grab one, two, three, four. Be here then. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Rank is the grand champ. 1600-ish. Seamus are higher. Diary of a Simpy Kid. That's a great clan tag, bro, man. Why are you on the wall if your teammate is doing that? Why are you pushing up so fast? What the fuck is that camera? Just wait here. Your teammates are doing shit. That guy's on the wall. That guy's turning Mitch, which he shouldn't. But if he's there, it's fine. You have your own position. What's the point of rushing on the wall? Oh, my teammate is here. Never mind. I come down. Oh, now new position. Looking for new position. Looking for new position. Oh, I found new position. Oh my god, my god, my god. Wait in a fucking normal position. Stop fucking. Do you do private training? No, I don't. I stopped doing shit like that because people offered me way too much money. A lot of really ugly turns as well. Again, 
let him hit this. You'll be fine. Make it look like we go and just leave. Don't get a hit. So he hits it. And then we rotate away. So your teammate should be able to get a ball, right? So he can cut in. And you go behind him like this. He goes there. He doesn't have to challenge either. Just let them go to the side. Grab boost in front of them. Turn around in front of your first post. Get a touch. You can follow up. And that's your possession. That's how you get possession. It's not challenging upfield and hoping that everything works out in your way. Which happened with your first goal. Stop turning here when your fucking teammate is there. The ball went over your head, fine, we go back now. You go towards mid boost if you notice no one is here, then we can turn, right? Don't just fucking randomly turn expecting no one to be there. Fucking ball chase, don't just turn again here. At least you don't hit it back to him, I really appreciate that. But you're still getting a touch that you shouldn't get. I really like that you don't hit it because you finally have a brain force and you see that guy's there. So if you get a touch, you're gonna go. Which again, I mean if you did it, it would have been fine since you get a hit into them, they hit it over you. So, I mean your team is all the way back, so that's not fine at all. Um best thing to do here would of course to not get a touch and just try to turn around if they are there then you just make it look like you go and then you just leave grab boost if they hit it all the way over here grab boost as well and turn around with the ball unless your teammate wants to go if he does go around him if he's not here take time take ball right you don't try to turn around when you don't have time to turn around right i like that you don't commit there you boost grab time time get a touch backward get a double tap but you're playing so fast that you can't do it you almost still did it but do you realize if you went for this but had a more conscious fucking decision on doing this you would have probably scored because this is not a hard shot you can do this i swear to god you can do you can do spinnies in the air like this you can do this simple ass fucking double tap but you're just playing so fast and you're putting this fucking weird ass pressure on your own fucking mind for no fucking reason the motherfucker had given you the ball already look free ball is he gonna recover any times is he gonna follow up no he's on the wall he's trying to block some look he's blocking some weird ass shit be my voice bro be there and take your fucking time after the boost grab we grab boost cool stop he's hitting it towards us stop Come more towards the left side of the ball. Let this ball roll out a little bit like this until it's here. Hit the ball when it's, you know, a little bit more on the side. As opposed to still on the wall. When the ball's, you know, here, we hit it back where it gets height. Because now it's not, it's not cooked on the fucking curve. It's not cooked on the curve. It's here on the ground. So when we hit the fucking ball, it actually gets height. As opposed to just going straight towards your opponent. Because you don't take your time to actually get a good first setup. And you can't follow it up. Your, uh, your opponent actually missed, which means this would have been a free goal, but you fucking don't take your time or you're stupid. Time. That's nice try, though. Stop playing past. Stop playing without fucking thinking. Stop using 7 million boosts here. Wow, we have 60 boosts. Let's use it all, Poggers. Let's, oh, all boost use. Oh, let's play in a fucking dumbass way where everyone's gonna land in front of me and everyone's gonna grab my boost, but I'm still gonna try. Oh my god, I'm, uh, nice attempt, bro. Oh, I'm still here. Oh, uh, oh, great, man. Hey, bro, where are we going? I don't fucking know. Yo, let's go, all Poggers, man. Grab the boost. Do that like three minutes ago, please. Stop trying to drive behind everyone. What's the point of this movement? Stop here. Be here. Wait here. They tr they try to do something. Be here, okay? The ball went over me and rotated around. What is the point of being here? And then at a moment of a possible backboard hit, you turn left as if you have to defend. As if there is a ball going to be... It's like, what the fuck? Be here. If he gets a beautiful touch backboard, then we could go for it. Don't just instantly go for it because you're the last man. You still have to be considerate of the fact... Shit could happen, you know, but if nothing happens, you get a free shot, then be there. Be there for the shot, but also, you know, don't instantly commit. Just be in a good position, right? Don't just turn away back here. What's the point of going here and now here? He's already going to put it backwards, so be in a position where you could be backward if they need you. Don't just go away, right? Now the ball goes there, that's fine, right? We're here, just rotate, see on this side, you're pushing up into that side, I don't know why. What the fuck are you doing? I almost get scored because of garbage. What the fuck? Where are you going? Like, please, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna put my controller down. I wanna know what you do. I wanna know why the fuck you're pushing up here. Do you really think your teammate is gonna teleport into the ball and fucking pass it middle here so you can go up for this fast, do some spinnies in the air, double tap, a single shot, 360 alien flip, score the best goal ever? No, you fuck. It's, come on, man. You're winning. He's not gonna reach the fucking ball. The opponent is literally beating him to it. Best case scenario, your teammate gets a fucking 50. Teammate called he had it. Oh, so, oh, teammate calls he had it, has it. So we're gonna close our eyes and just go upfield. Oh, gr great job, man. Use your own fucking eyes. If you go outside and there's a stranger saying, oh, man, come come with me, man. I have a fucking white fan. You get free can. You get free fucking money. Do you go with him? 
Shut your bitch ass up, use your own fucking rationality and think you fucking cuck. Come on, man. Yes, it No, shut up. You wouldn't. Shut your Twitch chat. Shut up. You guys are fucking ugly, bro. So, wait here. Right? You rotate back. You're on this side of the play. You wait here. You stop here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Oh, he gets beaten. Look at his positioning. I don't know what's wrong with you. He lost free candy today. I got free candy when I when I, when I go for it, babe. Good challenge here. How much replays? I'm thinking about bumping up the price for a replay. I'm gonna. Looks like he doesn't deserve this rank. No, he does. It shows just how bad the fucking game is. He doesn't. He looks like he doesn't deserve his rank wall. But but that's if I would analyze RLCS shit, it wouldn't it'd look like they don't deserve RLCS. No no offense. Hey, I'm I'm a bad player. I'm not good. I'm not good. Um. I'm not gonna say anything. This game is played in a dumbass way. The, his opponents are 1900. They make the same mistakes as he does. I play in 2000 MMR lobbies. Just, they, they do the same shit as they. Uh, no one can play a perfect game. Yeah, but that's not what we're asking for. But at least use your brain a little bit. No one is a perfect player, but it's not that hard to use a fucking brain. I hope you know that you shouldn't have done this. I hope they score, bro. Imagine. Well, that's it. I hope you learned something, man. Thank you for sending in the replay, bro. <clears throat> is this hard to think about playing, think about mechanics? Like, so yeah, but are you gonna, gonna cry about that? It's hard or are you gonna try and get good? Up to you, homie. Crying myself to sleep? No, don't cry about it. Learn from it. What's the point of sending, you know, giving me a replay analysis if I point out your mistakes and you're gonna cry about it? Jokes, love you, love you too, man. Thanks for sending it in.